your tyre related needs and a fantastic service, call or drop into Phillips Tyres in Oxford. Welcome back to your Tuesday latest shooting news day and what fantastic news we have. More medals from Lonato. Here's Matt and Kirsty from the Great British Trap Team. They're heading to Tokyo to represent us in the Olympics and it will be one to watch because they've just won gold in mixed trap pairs over in Lonato for the ISSF World Cup. Go Matt and Kirsty! What a fantastic achievement. A proud moment for shooting and a proud moment for Great Britain. Staying with sporting, we've got the English Open this weekend and selections are afoot for the CPSA England Team World Sporting Championships. You need to submit three best scores from four shoots. These are the North Selection Shoot, the South East Selection Shoot, as well as the British and English Open. I do like that uniform. If you are going to the English Open this weekend, please be sure to take Junction 15 off the M4. That's Junction 15, not 16, due to a road closure. Just a little tip for you there. And there's plenty of shooting tips on this channel. So please do take a look. If you haven't subscribed already, please do that. And let your friends know. Everything here is provided for you, completely free of charge. We've got lots more videos coming up in the pipeline, a bit more on side-by-sides, and a very interesting one on how to shoot a rabbit. I'd be interested to hear your thoughts on that particular target. And for the regular viewers amongst you, didn't David speak well for us on Thursday? If you've never shared one of our videos before, perhaps that might be the one to do. Shooting's in a great place at the moment, and it's excellent news for the channel as well. We've teamed up with Bellinger Izuzu, and there's going to be lots more to come from that in the future, which I'll keep you informed about. And a bit about general licences for you, an update on the release of pheasants and red leg partridges. Well, DEFRA did a review, and over 2,000 people responded. Take a look at the figures. Now, looking at this, members of the public, you'd have to think that these are the people from Wild Justice. Well, it is. Look at that. Originally, it was the intention of Wild Justice to entirely ban the release of game birds within five kilometres of European protected sites. That case was thrown out. There was still a review. So, the review went ahead and the results are in. There is a licence which will allow you to release game birds within 500 metres of the European protected sites. It's called the GL43. It comes into force on the 31st of May. GL stands for General Licence. You don't need to apply for one and you don't need to register to use it. Now that's what I call justice. Thanks for watching the Shooting Channel. I'll see you next week. share to your friends and have a look at what other films we've done and it's all there to try and encourage you to get into shooting this great sport.